we launch it we launch it in Jamaica and we're like, you know what, let's do something different, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we just build the rhythm and just got some artists to to just put some beats on it. He's the fastest man on the planet with an Olympic medal count to match. But there's more to Usain Bolt than just his lightning fast sprints. From his love of music and partying to his impressive philanthropic efforts, join us as we explore the incredible lifestyle of the man they call Lightning. Hussein St. Leo Bolt, born on August 21, 1986, is a Jamaican retired sprinter, widely considered to be the greatest sprinter of all time. His awards include the IAAF World Athlete of the Year, Track and Field Athlete of the Year, and BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year three times. Bolt was included in Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2016. You know what I mean? Track and field is not easy. You got to train pretty much 11 months out of the year for the championships. You know what I mean? And for me, I had won everything I wanted to win. Now let's take a look at his favorite hobbies and how he spends his money. Usain Bolt has a collection of expensive jewelry, including diamond rings, necklaces, and bracelets. Usain Bolt has a collection of expensive watches, including Rolex, Patek Philippe, and Richard Mille. He adopted a cheetah back in 2009 during his visit to Kenya. Bolt expresses a love for dancing, and his character is frequently described as laid back and relaxed. A documentary film based on the athletic life of Bolt to win three Olympic gold medals titled I Am Bolt was released on November 28, 2016 in the United Kingdom. His Jamaican track and field idols include Herb McKinley and former Jamaican 100-meter and 200-meter world record holder Don Quarry. He's an avid fan of the Call of Duty video game series. I won it three times, so for me, that was my major goal. That was the biggest thing that I set for myself throughout my career, to do this three times. And after I did that, I was like... Let's see how he's getting on with his friends and family. The eight-time gold medalist announced in January 2020 that he was expecting his first child with his girlfriend, Cassie Bennett. They've been together since 2016. Bolt and Bennett welcomed twin boys named St. Leo and Thunder in June 2021. He was born to parents Wellesley and Jennifer Bolt. He has a brother, Siddiqui, and a sister, Shireen. And when we get injured, we didn't get the best Medicare, especially when we're from the rural area. So I decided that to build a clinic so it would be cheaper for the, for the younger ones. With that being said, let's discuss how he earns money. When you're the fastest man in the world, it's no surprise that you can command some pretty impressive paychecks. But for Usain Bolt, it wasn't just his sprinting speed that made him one of the highest paid athletes on the planet. At his peak, Usain earned 20 to $30 million per year in the years leading up to the Olympics, making him by far the highest paid track and field athlete of all time. The vast majority of his earnings came from endorsements rather than on-track competition prizes, his biggest paycheck came from the German shoe company Puma, which paid Hussein $9 million a year to wear their shoes at all times on and off the track. Hussein brought home additional millions from deals with Visa, Nissan, and Gatorade. In 2010, Bolt released a best-selling autobiography that came with a multi-million dollar advance of $10 million from publisher HarperCollins. Hussein also commands appearance fees ranging from $250,000 to as much as $500,000 to compete at track and field events throughout the world. Join us as we take a closer look at how Usain Bolt sprinted his way to the top of the earnings leaderboard and why his legacy as one of the highest paid track and field athletes of all time is still untouchable. He has a net worth of $90 million. Ever wanted to know where he lives? Let's find out. Usain Bolt lives in Kingston, Jamaica with his family. He also had a home in Sydney, Australia. Nestled in the suburbs of Point Frederick, Australia, a stunning $1.9 million apartment accommodated the Olympic medal holder for a brief period while he began his newfound career as a professional soccer player. Dubbed the Sky House for its sumptuous waterfront views of Brisbane Lake, Usain's former pad covers an impressive 11,022 square feet of land. The property, which was originally constructed back in 2010, was sold to the metal holder through the real estate agency Gateau's East Gosford. 
Stationed at the top of the Araluan Apartments, a staple in Centerpoint affluence, the Sky House comes with five bespoke designed bedrooms and four bathrooms. Just like most upscale penthouses, many of the building's walls are made out of glass. Now let's see what type of vehicles you'll find in his garage. A Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a Ferrari California, a Ferrari 458 Italia, a Nissan GTR Special Edition, a BMW M3, a Chevrolet Camaro, An Audi SUV. A customized Jeep Wrangler. If you enjoy our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. It's hard to get the full picture of someone's lifestyle without seeing how they got there. So where did it all begin? His parents ran a local grocery store in the rural town. Hussein went to Waldensia Primary School and by the age of 12, he'd already become the school's fastest runner. Dwayne Jarrett and Pablo McNeil, a former Olympic sprinter, coached Bolt throughout high school and Bolt began winning medals in championship high school games. In 2001, Bolt made his first appearance on the world stage at the IAAF World Youth Championships in Hungary. Bolt went on to the Karifta Games where he set championship records in the 200 meters and 400 meter races. He participated in the Central American and Caribbean Junior Championships where he continued to set records and personal bests. At the age of 15, Bolt became the youngest World Junior gold medalist ever when he won the 200-meter race at the 2002 World Junior Championships in Kingston, Jamaica. Bolt continued to compete and break records, but decided to then turn his focus to nabbing a spot on the Jamaican Olympic team. With the help of his new coach, Fritz Coleman, Bolt became a professional runner in 2004 and began his new career at the Karifta Games in Bermuda. Despite a hamstring injury, Bolt was chosen in May 2004 for the Jamaican Olympic squad. Bolt continued to race, medal, and set records. He won three gold medals at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Bolt retired from competition in 2017 after his performance slipped at the World Championships. Bolt often discussed wanting to pursue a football career after his retirement from running, and even got a few serious offers from major clubs around the world but announced in January 2019 that he was retiring from sports altogether. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it, but don't stop here, there's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.